Okay, gonna do a little tech tip today. Uh, earlier, I was driving and I went to go full throttle, third gear, and it I heard a pop, and then not very smooth after that, so I immediately let up like it was misfiring. Uh, let it cool down a little bit, restart. It was driving, and same thing. Second gear, went to go full throttle, hit about 20 pounds of boost. Lots of misfires, and then the engine just stayed in misfire mode. So basically, it was running on three cylinders, barely pulling me off the highway. Actually, got paranoid, pulled over, and found out my number uh, three coil pack back there. Just it just came unplugged. So I played with it a little bit on the side of the road, plugged it back in, and went to try it again, and still uh, misfires. So. Basically, I've had this issue before with these injectors. Anyone that takes their car apart and puts it back together 100,000 times over and over again, you're going to run into worn out plugs. Uh, I already did this side. I experimented, so I don't have to experiment on this side. I just can just show you. So let's try and get this set up where you guys can see me. These are basically the coil pack plugs. I already unplugged them. They're pretty simple. Push this little guy in and they slide right off the back of the coil pack or the, the front on the on the right hand side. Uh, it's black in the back, easy to remember. So on the driver's side or left hand side, the black coil pack, black plug is for the number four, white's for number two, and on the other side, black is number three and white is number one so white for cylinders one and two black for cylinders three and four or you can just remember back black in the back same goes with the injector plugs black in the back so basically we'll try to start with just the black one since it's a little closer to the camera to get these apart because what i want to do is in here these three slots is you know the metal like basically it, it squeezes over like this part here is say the pin inside the coil pack or injector the metal part of the plug basically is supposed to just slide over like that you know <laughs> so <laughs> what happens over time is these get kind of loose uh, and you don't get real good contact so what we're going to do now is Tight, close these back up so when I plug it back in it's nice and can tight that way at least if I get another misfire I know it's not the plug always start with the free stuff uh, don't go jumping in and buying four and worth the ignition coils just because you got a misfire start free work your way up to the 400 or coil packs could also be a spark plug or an injector freaking thousand other things with these cars. Everyone loves a Subaru Misfire. So I get the plugs apart. It's pretty simple. I found out. There's a little yellow. It's basically a retainer. Just gently get a flathead screwdriver and there's probably proper tools for this but you know, ain't nobody got time for that. So pry it out a little bit and it just comes out. Set that somewhere safe or it will leave. And inside here, which I doubt you can see, are little little tabs. If you've ever worked with a zip tie, you get the idea. This little screwdriver works nice. I keep a little bit of tension on there, and then just one at a time, I reach in there and I pull that little tab out. And they all just loosen. And now is a good time to remember which wires go in which hole. Uh, from my experience, it's the red power wire is always on the left opposite the, the plug latch, and then the ground in the middle, and I guess that's the signal wire. It's a lighter gauge wire closest to the, to the pin. Remember that before you undo it. Otherwise, you are screwed. Not really screwed, but... Out, 
pull out the coil plugs. Just get any grease or anything out of there. Oil, residue, water. Right. Now that we've remembered which wire is which, take the plug off, set it aside. And in here, see how you can kind of see what I'm talking about? Those big caves. See, we're just trying to tighten up the doors. So again, same screwdriver. Reach in there at the little flap, the flappy end, not the solid end, the flappy end. And just push the flappy thing in without stabbing your finger. And then uh, you can see the, the gaps are nice and shut again, like they're supposed to be. And like I said years ago, I had to do this with my injectors. I was getting a ton of misfires. Uh, and it turned out it was just my fuel injector plugs were worn out like this. So, once you get all of them tightened back up, plug. The wires usually stay together pretty nice. Make sure you got the right end. And then they just kind of push right back in their holes. Same way they came out. And you'll hear them all click. Make sure they're all clicked. And give a little bit of a tug. Not a major tug because these are old. A little bit of a tug. And they're all back in there. Take your yellow doohickey retainer thing. Done. We'll do the other one, but you guys don't need to watch twice. That's what rewinds for. Have a good one.